Hey guys, it's Shirley with Way to Grow where we're having a great time teaching you how to garden. And today I want to talk about starting plants from seeds. It's so exciting because it's so inexpensive. A seed packet like this may cost you a buck fifty and you have about a hundred plants. So today I want to talk about economical ways to start seeds. Like eggs? Well, don't throw away that carton. Keep it and use this as a seed starting cell. So all I did was I filled this up with seed starting mix. The same thing with toilet paper rolls or towels. You take the inner flange, cut it and make little cups. In order to germinate your seeds, there's just a few small easy rules to follow. Number one, read the package. It tells me that right now is the time to grow this seed. And it also says that I should plant it to about an inch deep. So I'm gonna do that. Take your cell pack and your seeds. This is one inch depth. Well, I'm gonna put more than one in each cell because I want the odds in my favor and they may not all germinate. So you could either just place them right on top and then add soil so they're to one inch deep or you can go ahead and move the soil and plant them deep, just like that. So if you continue, just continue throughout the whole row like this. These I'm gonna cover with some soil just like this. And what I did before I even started putting the seeds into the mix is I moistened the seed mix. And that's an important thing to do. Some people like to water afterwards. I don't because it disturbs the, the seeds. These happen to be big seeds. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little mist anyway, but it already is moist there. So you see how it kind of moves the soil around a little bit? You can imagine if this was a real lightweight uh, seed, it may have some trouble. Now that my seeds are in, the next thing that your seedlings need are the right amount of heat. That's what's going to cause them to germinate. So, plastic wrap, again, inexpensive. It's going to help us to tent and keep the seedlings nice and moist. And then put it indoors near a south facing window where it's nice and warm and where the temperatures are near 75 to 85 degrees. Daily you want to check it to see that it is moist and you're going to start seeing some little uh, seedlings and sprouts coming up and that's really exciting. When your seeds start to show a few leaves it's time to acclimate them for the outdoors. This might be about three weeks later. Don't just take these little seedlings out and plant them in the ground just because you're excited. Start slowly. Day one, take them outdoors like this, put them on the porch, let them acclimate to the sun. The next day, take them out to a sunnier area. And then the third day, do the same. On the fourth day, they should be already used to the new weather. Go ahead and place them where they're supposed to be. And that's how you start seeds. Very easy, very economical, and I hope that you get into it.